Hello, my name is Patrick and I'm pleased to announce a new feature many users have been asking for, namely the possibility to download the geodata from the sites on explorer.land. So in order to show how this works, open your project configuration panel and navigate to the site management page. There are three ways to download sites. So there is a possibility to download the geo data of all the sites. And this happens through this icon on the top of your site list. You can download the geo data of individual sites just by choosing the site and selecting download from the drop down menu. And for those who already know the batch mode, you can enter that mode and then select just a few sites and download the respective geodata using this icon down here. So I will do this only for the total number of sites. So you should be aware that the download of the geodata is not equivalent to a backup of the sites as you will be losing some information there. Also, as the sites on explore.land are composed by dots or also polygons, we have to deliver these in separated ways uh, for technical reasons. So in this case, you see that we have selected uh, a total of 63 sites and all of them have also a polygon. If you have sites in your project which do not have polygons, you will see that this number is lower than the above. Now, once I downloaded this, the data is delivered as a zip file. I will just open the zip file into the same directory as the download took place. And you will see you have two GeoJSON files, one containing the points, the other one containing the polygons. And I will just drag and drop them into QGIS. And now you see that I have all the points of my sites. And I will do the same for the polygons. And you see that I have the polygons there. Let me just change the reference system. Exactly. Now the good thing or the interesting thing is that the majority of the fields of the sites uh, are also exported into the attribute table. So this might help you to do a more general analysis or just to style your project in a program like Yugis. So I'm showing now here the uh, attribute table. There is the internal ID of the site within explorer.land. Should you have uploaded or indicated an external ID coming from your project, you would have it also here. There are different uh, fields regarding to, to the URL of that site on explorer.land, but then you have the title, the description, the categories of that specific site, uh, if the site was public or still in draft, and then the creation date of that site, the last edit, and also just to make sure you know where the data came from, the name of the project within explore.land from where you got the material. So that's it for now. I hope you will find this feature useful. If you have any comments or questions, just let us know. We're curious about knowing if you will be using this and how you will be using this in the future. Thank you for watching.